Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. And this message is specifically for the ladies. You know, I came to you to talk to you today about a project that I'm super excited to be introducing to all of you ladies. And before I get into it, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, now is your time. Take a quick second and click the subscribe button and click the bell for the notification to receive notice of when a new video posts. You know, I try to be regular about these kinds of things, but to be quite honest, you know, we are a vibrant travel community. So what's happening more often than not, more often than not, we're actually traveling. And so with that being said, I want to jump into today's video because I have wanted to talk about this experience for a very long time. And I'm just excited because I feel like we are partnered with the right people to bring this experience to fruition. And so let me just give you a little bit of the backstory of this. You know, one of my very good friends who's been my very good friend slash sorority sister for many, many years, she called me up one day and she asked me, she says, Jess, I want to re meet a different kind of man. You know, she wanted to meet a different caliber of men. She's a super successful woman. She comes in contact with certain types of men in her everyday life. And she said that one of the things she's having trouble with, like so many women, is attracting the kind of men that she wants to attract. And it's not because she's not beautiful, because let me tell you, one thing she has never struggled with in life is attracting a man. But I think it's the location that she's in, uh, the city that she's in, the very intense work that she does. It unfortunately has taken her a bit out of the mix in terms of encountering consistently the the caliber of men that she's most likely to date. And so we had this conversation about things that, that she could do, uh, you know, proximity wise, where she needed to position herself, how she needed to position herself. You know, we talked, we had a very thorough in-depth conversation because her goal essentially is to be in a different circle, to be in a different network of men and women who could position her to get the, t to get and attract the type of mate that she is looking for. And so that was the first little sort of alarm bell that went off in my head like oh you know you've been talking about doing this kind of experience for years you should do it so that's the first thing the second thing is that i myself have had over the years a very healthy dating life i've dated a number of different kinds of men uh, i've dated men who 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 weren't as successful financially, you know, that was in my early, you know, early, the earlier part of my dating history. And after I got to a certain point, you know, I've dated really successful men. And when I say really successful, um, I've dated a couple people who are pretty known. And with that comes a certain set of knowledge and that that uh, I feel that allows me to understand a bit more about interacting and networking in spaces and places where you're likely to attract the kind of caliber 
or a higher caliber of man for those of you ladies who are looking, um, you know, you're just more likely to attract a, a higher caliber of man if you go uh, to certain spaces and places. Not to mention, I personally have over the years always managed to be in spaces and places where there are a ton of celebrities. And I'm one of those people, like I'm, I'm not uh, one of those folks that's into dating this celebrity or that celebrity. I'm really not a very uh, celebrity centered kind of individual. I'm very much a regular, average, normal woman who just so happens to travel a lot more than most people usually travel in their lifetime. But for me, oh, I've, I've always kind of been in, in spaces and places that allowed me to um, meet and mingle with some of the most successful brothers and sisters uh, that our society has come to know. And if you look at your screen right now, uh, I put together this little matrix that is a reflection of all of, well, not even all, because I couldn't fit every single person on this image. Um, but this is all of the people that I've met and rub shoulders and brush shoulders with over the years. And I tried to get everybody on this little image, but I got to tell you, to be very honest with you, I left so many people off. I mean, I've just, from living my everyday life and traveling, I can tell you where I met and, and, and seen each and every one of these people. And so there's definitely something to being in the right place, in the right space at the right time. But I've met more <laughs> famous people um, just being myself and living my life. Like I said, all transparency. I am not a celebrity oriented person. I do not... Um, stalk celebrities. I do not, I, I've never had a career in Hollywood. I've never desired to have a career in, in movies or film or sports or anything like that. It's just, you know, when you are to, as they say, tuned in, tapped in and turned on, you know, you attract the certain, ki certain kinds of energy that are in line with the wave length that you're vibrating on. And I'm one of those people, I love to be around super successful people. I love to dine where they dine. I love to lodge where they lodge. I just enjoy it because I'm always of the mindset that, and this is a very common saying, your network is your net worth. And I just feel like if I want to be successful, if I want to be someone who um, does well financially, then I need to put myself in the spaces and the places where these people are. And so as a result of that, I have a certain knowledge base uh, that allows me to be very honest and transparent with women about what it takes to attract certain a certain caliber of men um and also what it takes to navigate in certain circles you know i don't talk very openly about the people that i have in my cell phone on speed dial but i can tell you that over the years from being very strategic and deliberate about the connections that I make, I can honestly say that I have some pretty successful people in my phone um, that are very wealthy ind individuals. 
And with one of the most famous, well, I, I let me take that back. He's not really famous. He just has like a ton of money. He's like a billionaire. Um, I don't have his direct information, but I know someone who is directly connected to him. And every time uh, I, well, I say every time, but any time I'd, I'd like to ring that bell, uh, that's a connection that I can uh, definitely tap into. Um, but more than me knowing uh, these areas of interest that a lot of ladies who aspire to a higher level hat who aspire to n networking on a higher level. <laughs> um, more than that, what I enjoy is I enjoy establishing relationships, which takes time by the way to do. I enjoy establishing those relationships in a, so that I can have the opportunity at a later date or at a different date to introduce some of these amazing, brilliant, super successful men and women to those folks who uh, are in Black Travelers Network who do decide to travel with us to the many destinations. You know, it's great that I know some of these people. It's even better when I can connect uh, some of you to to them. And usually the way it works is it depends on people's interests and what they uh, like to get into. Um, you know, they always say that there are six degrees of separation, but when we talk about people of African descent, usually it's probably like half, half of that. Sometimes it's not even six. Sometimes it's like probably three or four, in some cases too. But that is a little bit of the background about how this whole experience came to be. So what is the experience that I am referencing? Well, let me get into it because uh, you may have, uh, well, if you're on our email list, you definitely received an email about this experience over uh, the weekend and it takes place in two parts. Part one actually starts this year, uh, next month. Uh, so if you're not on the email list, um, or if you desire to know more about this experience, definitely email us at black travelers network at gmail.com. That's black travelers network at gmail.com. I will put those details in the description box so that you can uh, email us if you'd like more information. So part one is what I call our sisters confidential online strategy sessions. We These sessions are gonna happen on a monthly basis. And the reason why it's strategy is because I tell you that what inspired me is knowing women who want to date men who are a higher of a higher class or a higher caliber than what they're normally encountering in their everyday life. That's kind of what inspired me to to create this. But outside of that, there are a number of women who are not looking for a relationship. They're not looking for love. They just want to improve their network. They just want to expand the quality and the caliber of the individuals that they have in their Rolodex and that they have who, who they can consider to be a part of their knowledge base that they can go to and, and ask for whether it's support or ask for advice for some of the career, professional, and um, personal goals that they may want to achieve. And so that's certainly part of it. And so when I talk about the Sisters Confidential Strategy Sessions, it is exactly that. It is a confidential strategy session of sisters who want to get together to start to think about what it is that we need to do to 
expand our networks to include the people that we have the greatest desire to be associated with. For some people, that's going to be people in their industry. For others, it may be people within their same profession or their same office space. For others, it may look totally different. You know, some some ladies, you know, some ladies are out here looking for love. And for some of you, it may be being more thoughtful and more strategic about the kind and the quality of man that you are attracting, that you're dating. And for some of you who would desire marriage, you want to position yourself to to marry up and to marry well. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know, the one thing that I can honestly say, because I hear a lot of men on YouTube, they call themselves the black manosphere, who really go in on women. Well, let me take that back. They go in on women in general, but more specifically, <laughs> they go in and have a lot of criticism for black women. And the interesting thing about these men, you know, I kind of have my opinions on some of the conjecture that they kind of spew out there when they talk about black women. But the reality is, is that I got to give them credit. These men, whether they know each other or not, they are united in their message. <laughs> their anti-woman, anti-black woman message. They don't even have to know each other and they'll still be on the same page about how their ideas and their thoughts and their reactions to women. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's funny for me, but it's also um, very telling of how men can get on the same message, the same page. And so I just desire to have a little bit more structure for our women. But let's just say this, part one of the experience, what we're going to do uh, in the online experience, we're gonna discuss things like what it means to be a woman in today's environment. You know, we hear so much about our challenges, but we have some competitive advantages uh, to being a woman, okay? That is the great thing. I, you know, I, I'm so thankful every single day that I was born a woman, you know? And so, well, that I was born female and grew into my womanhood. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited to uh, delve more into that topic and hear a little bit more from you ladies about what it means in today's environment to be a woman and you know there there's a lot more depth to this but i'm just kind of giving you an overview we're also going to talk about the strategies to put us in spaces where there are more affluent people for those of you ladies who want to establish better clientele for your businesses and your projects again for those of you who want to date date up, <laughs> you know, this is where you need to be. You need to be in a strategy session consistently with like-minded women who some of which share a similar mindset as you. Okay. We're also going to delve into some case studies. You know, there are very public examples of average women who have managed to navigate it from being regular everyday women into the society of the upper echelon. And we will look at what it takes, what it has taken for them to go from being a regular everyday woman to, um, you know, whether it's being with a super successful man or being uh, with a super successful network that allows them to um, improve their business uh, and take their businesses to the next level. You know, we'll delve into some of those examples uh, in our strategy sessions. And the best part about the online experience is that we will begin to establish a roadmap of strategic places to be, of important relationships to work towards gaining, 
and to make some connections with some other ladies. Like I said, it's, it's the connections you make from the women who are a part of the group. And so I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about the online experience. You know, it's very, very affordable to join the online only experience. It's for a short time, it's $99. So you have nothing to worry about. The sooner you join, the better you will be, the more affordable it will be for you. So that is the sisters confidential strategy sessions. That's part one. We meet monthly until the month of December. And then what happens in 2023 is part two. Part two is, oh, so exciting because in part two, what we will do is we will travel from the United States to one of the most beautiful destinations in the world, which is Cape Town, South Africa. And once we're in Cape Town, South Africa, you know, this is going to take place over the Memorial Day holiday weekend in 2023. Uh, it happens May 25th to June 1st. So mark your calendars for that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the information and all of the ideas and all of the strategies that we've come up with online and we are going to begin to get real life coaching around navigating in these affluent spaces. You know, we've partnered with some amazing folks who routinely work with entrepreneurs, medical doctors, social media influencers, and those influencers within their industry. And they also coach dignitaries from different parts of the world. And so we get a chance to um, benefit from their knowledge in a two day seminar in Cape Town where we will talk about, well, it's not really talk, it's a highly interactive workshop where they're going to do a lot of the, the instruction and we're going to do a lot of the learning and applying uh, type of techniques. But what we'll cover in the two day seminar in South Africa is, are things like what you see on your screen. You'll see some topics on your screen. We will cover um, like the quality of personal appeal and winning with first impressions, how to build rapport. You know, building rapport is essential to establishing meaningful relationships and establishing relationships that will get you into some of the rooms that may not necessarily be available to you right now. You will also learn some practical skills of how to prepare for a negotiation because ladies, everything in life for the most part is some form of no negotiation. So you'll also learn about how to prepare for a meeting and how to prepare for networking. You know, whether you're at a, a, di a, a dinner or whether you're at an event, you know, having some networking skills uh, and, and knowledge uh, beforehand is really important. And so we're going to have workshops and sessions over that. We're also going to talk about image, attire, makeup and grooming, how to entertain others and so much more. Like I said, I'm over the moon with excitement that we can offer this very rare two day seminar with workshops that uh, educate you on things that, you know, we don't necessarily normally have any type of formal education on. And so the beautiful thing about us traveling to South Africa at this time is that that is, of course, the two-day workshop. But outside of the two-day workshop, you know, we're going to be in South Africa. So we're not just going to be held up in some hotel. For those of you ladies who like to tour, we, we have tours that are planned. We also um, have, uh, you know, a dinner that's planned that 
pretty much anyone who's coming uh, with us to South Africa, you will have a chance to enjoy the dinner uh, and meet the other ladies. I mean, this is going to be a meet and a mingle kind of session. And what my overall goal is, because it is great when you have a goal of ex expanding your network or dating a higher caliber men, but the reality is, is when you have other women who also have a similar shared interest, see, then now you have a partner in working with you to be supportive of what you're trying to accomplish and also supportive of what they're trying to accomplish. accomplish. This is really about women establishing partnerships and working together for the benefit of each other. And so if you have not taken a closer look, <laughs> definitely take a closer look. I believe I should be able to put the link. Hopefully, you know, YouTube doesn't block out the link, but if I can put the link to the Sisters Confidential uh, Women's Week and Today uh, Seminar, as well as uh, the Sisters Confidential Online Strategy Session. It will be in the description box below. Um, but yes, join us, join us, join us. I think that for me, having done so many different travel experiences, this is the experience that I am like the most over the moon about because it's something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. It's something I've wanted to pull together. I feel like I've been very fortunate to date some of the most handsome men, some of the most successful men. I've also been very fortunate and very blessed to be able to navigate some of these spaces and places where other folks who are highly, highly successful have been in. And, you know, I feel like I benefit from that energy. Uh, so... With that being said, if you have not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, click the like button. And ladies and gentlemen, I certainly hope to see you in one, well, ladies, I should say, I certainly hope to see you in one of our uh, online strategy sessions. And most importantly, if you can make it to South Africa, as I've stated before, now is the time to plan and prepare. We will be there and we look forward to hosting you. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Until next time.